Today, folks, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 because there's just been some interesting developments happening around a popular idea for the system, something that does have some tangible proof, but we don't really know. It's just a feature set of the system that we could be really, really excited about. But before I dive into that stuff, I want to make sure we get into some other pieces of news here uh, just to make sure we cover our bases because Nintendo did drop quite a lot of news today, some of which I think is tangentially Switch 2 related. And you know what? I'm not going to make you wait for it. Let's go ahead and dive into it right now. And the first part here we got to talk about is, man, Nintendo's really going all out this holiday season. They announced a ton of bundles. There's a Super Smash Bros. OLED bundle coming out. That's right. They're finally releasing an OLED bundle that isn't, you know, Mario Kart. So that's really cool. There's nothing really special about it beyond the box art. It comes with three months of NSO. It's going to cost the same as a normal OLED does. And it's launching November 19th. They're calling this a Black Friday bundle. So there you go. Enjoy that one coming up. But they're not done because they also package Super Mario Party in with the neon red and blue Joy-Con. So they're selling this pack on November 10th for $99.99. Select retailers, etc. But, you know, they decided to also go a bit out, all out as well. They got a number of games going on sale on November 19th. They're really going all out this Black Friday. So we got Breath of the Wild, Luigi's Mansion 3, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, and Super Mario Odyssey available for $39.99. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe, and Minecraft Legends available for $29.99. And Everybody's 1-2 Switch available for $19.99. And then maybe the most out there combo pack we're going to see for the holidays, but exclusive to Japan, is Mario Wonder plus Pikmin 4. That's right, they're being bundled together and launching in Japan on December 6th. Now, we don't have the launch price for it at this time, but man, pretty, pretty interesting stuff. And I think all of this is tangentially related to Nintendo Switch. Look, whenever we get to one of the last holidays for a given platform, Nintendo does tend to go all out with the holiday bundles. And this is way more than they've ever done before with the discounts and the bundles combined. Remember, we have the you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, gosh, normal Switch bundle. Switch OLED bundle. We got the Animal Crossing, you know, Switch Lite bundles. Now we got this coming with Super Smash Bros. Now we got a pack in with Mario Party. This is really an all-out holiday for them. And again, they tend to do this right before they're about to, you know, release a new system. And that is, one, so they could get as much holiday sales as possible. And two, oftentimes they just have a lot of stock of Switch. If you've been to any retail outlet lately, you'll notice they have a ton of Nintendo Switches laying around. So some of this is just to move a lot of this stuff during the holidays. And you know what? That's always good news for Nintendo when they're trying to move a bunch and maybe clear out a little bit of room in the stock room. And why would they want to do that? Well, because of Nintendo Switch 2, but we'll get to that in a moment. One other thing I want to go over are the sales in the UK. We have last week's sales in, and again, we don't go over the UK sales often unless something notable happens. Well, the notable thing is that Mario Wonder has maintained its number one spot for two weeks in a row. Remember, when Mario Wonder debuted, it actually debuted just behind Spider-Man 2, but then in week two, Mario Wonder surpassed Spider-Man 2, and now in week three, Mario Wonder is still number one, while obviously... Spider-Man 3 has dropped another spot to number 3 with EA Sports FC 24 coming in at number 2. Now for those just a little bit curious, WarioWare also launched last week and it debuted at number 15. Not really in the top 10, so couldn't really show you, but yeah, we know this thanks to Christopher Dring over on Twitter, one of the UK sales analysts. All right, now moving beyond that, we got to get into the Switch 2 stuff. I've been putting it off. I, I've been, you know, I briefly mentioned this stuff in other videos, but I've never really sat down and thought seriously about it for some time as we have more and more evidence presented. Now, look, this isn't the biggest deal in the world, but it could be a possible hint at a feature for Switch 2. And the reason will be explained briefly. We're talking about the colored button theory. And the color button theory, for those who don't know, is that Super Famicom color buttons and Super Nintendo right out in Europe, they had the color buttons as well are appearing in more and more games. Now, we first started really noticing this with games like, well, I don't know, Nintendo's own Super Mario RPG and Thousand Year Door. Games that aren't even out yet magically have these color button combos even though they don't exist on Nintendo Switch, which is quite fascinating. Why are you putting these button color combos in? Is it possible these games will be a cross-gen release and have releases on the new system? Sure. And that was where the theory originally stood. But then more and more games 
ended up getting you know announced in this way. I'll give you just another example out there. We had Fashion Designer, which recently came out. That also has those buttons featured there. Again, a third-party game. But if you want to go beyond that, since that was an exclusive third-party game, how about this? What about Yiz X Nordic? Yeah, that's not an exclusive game. And that has the button combo. And now this Kuru game from Japan uh, it has another name here in the West, but this might be a different version of that because the screenshots here on the Japanese eShop page don't look like the ones I found here in North America, so maybe it's not coming out here yet. So I, I don't know. It's a long-running franchise, but Kuro is uh, has screenshots up like this, clearly showing a colored button combo, and this game doesn't come out till February. So you combine this with some hints from Necrolipe, Philippa from Nintendo Universal that Nintendo might be mandating these colors for any games that are planning to be there day one on Nintendo Switch 2. So like, you know, basically cross-generation games, maybe at 4K or whatever the heck they're doing. Their theory is that they're mandating this. And why would Nintendo mandate it? It's a little interesting. I don't know why they would need to force companies to use certain bo color button schemes. But then if you look at third-party releases on other platforms, they tend to also conform to you know, not only what the buttons are called with ABXY and the triangle square circle X thing, but also with the colors. So look, I'm just going to sit back and say, I do think that this does matter. And this could be related to Nintendo Switch too. And certainly it is something I find fascinating as Nintendo could be wanting to emphasize th this is the crazy part like why would Nintendo want to emphasize button colors and make companies use them obviously Nintendo wants and you know could do whatever they want with their games well my theory is that Nintendo wants this platform to ha be differentiated from the Nintendo Switch in some way now yeah it'll be more powerful yeah the screen will be slightly bigger but I have a feeling that this platform is going to look uh, pretty similar to, you know, the Switch OLED here. Like you see this, um, you know, take these things off the grip, but like it might not look too different from the Nintendo Switch. And so little accents and little things they're doing to it, they want people to help recognize that it's different. It's sort of like when you get the different iPhones over the years, right? Like they'll just be like that slight difference on the outside that makes you realize this is the latest iPhone. And that could be what this here, just some subtle hints. And one of those subtle hints being the colored button scheme, whether just the letters, the individual A, B, X, Y, that's just the text that's colored or the whole button is colored. Obviously we don't know, uh, but it, it's quite fascinating to think that they might be wanting to emphasize this specifically because it helps games and the system stand out as, oh, this is one of the next systems because it has these different accent features. And who knows, maybe it's a consistent color theme they're going to launch with. Maybe even in the Nintendo Switch 2 logo or whatever they call it, they also happen to use this color scheme again. So there's a lot of ways that we can go with this, but I am just happy as can be that uh, Nintendo Switch 2, every day we're getting closer and closer. This holiday season's going about what I expected. I wasn't sure if Nintendo would actually release more bundles, but now they did, which is what I thought they would announce you know, a month ago. So I'm, I'm pretty happy to see Nintendo clearing out stock and trying to get as many sales as possible this holiday because that always indicates, hey, Nintendo's ready for the next wave of hardware. Don't know when it's going to be announced. I'm not on Team 2023, by the way. It, look, all the theories about it being announced, I just don't think so. The investors meeting is happening tonight slash tomorrow, and I say that because uh, the time zones are all different between Japan and here, so it's kind of weird. Basically, we'll have a bunch of data to report on early tomorrow morning, but the Q&A actually happens like later in the day tomorrow, so it's kind of weird, uh, but we'll see what comes out of the Q&A as well. Um, hopefully some interesting stuff. Maybe we get some hints at Switch 2. But yeah, that's, that's that's what I got for you guys for this video. I want to thank you so much for being here. Are you as excited about Nintendo Switch 2 as I am? Because I got to admit, I'm pretty pumped. I'll catch you guys in the next video.